What are the percent compositions of each element here in beryllium chloride? Well, the first step is to find its total mass, and then we can find those percentages. So let's use this table to help us out. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the particular element. So I have beryllium, BE, and I have chlorine, CL. The next is to write down the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of beryllium, there is a one, even though it's not there, there is a one there. And then chlorine, the bottom of that is a two, right? So I have two chlorines, that means. That's what the subscripts tell us. Then we're gonna multiply by the mass of each element, and that's where we use our periodic table, so let's check it out. So beryllium here is about 9.01, and chlorine here is about 35.45. They those units there for those numbers would be either gram per mole if you're calculating molar mass or AMU if you're calculating molecular mass, all right? So this is going to be 9.01. And then the uh, molar mass of then chlorine is about 35, 35.45. And now to find the total mass then of the uh, individual element, we just simply multiply this row across. So one times 9.01 means that there's a total mass of beryllium of 9.01. And then two times 35.45 for chlorine means that there is a total of 70.90 uh, units of mass for chlorine. To find then the total mass of the entire compound, just simply add that column together. And when you do that, it works out to be 79.91. So this was the first part of solving for the percent composition of each element. We had to find the total mass. Now, it doesn't really matter if you use gram per mole or AMU. Who cares? Just leave out the units. The magnitude of the number is what is important. All right. So now to help calculate that mass percent of each element, what I'm going to do is create a new column to the table. Bam. So to find that mass percent, what we're going to do is we're going to take the total mass of the element in the compound, meaning this number right here for beryllium. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, hence why we needed to find that total mass first, okay? So that's 79.91. And then what I'm going to do is take that ratio or that fraction and multiply it by 100, and this is a simple percent formula, part over whole times 100, all right? So then once we plug that into the calculator, it works out to be approximately 11, 11.28%. All right, that is the percent then for beryllium in beryllium chloride. Uh, lastly, for chlorine now, right, it would be the total mass of chlorine, which is 70.9. And then we're going to take that and then divide it by the 79.91. Multiply it by 100. Notice I'm always taking the total mass, all right, not the molar mass or the molecular mass of the element. And then we are going to multiply that by 100. And it comes out to be a percentage now of about, let me write that neatly, well, as neat as I can, it might not be neatly, but it's as neat as I can. J don't judge, don't judge. So 0 0.7, I guess, 2 or so, right? Now, what should happen here is that these percentages, if done hopefully properly, uh, should add up to be 100%, all right? So just be careful. I mean, sometimes the rounding might, you know, not allow for it to be 100, but if you added the exact values up, it should be 100%, all right? Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I do hope this helps. And if it did, give us a hand, like, subscribe. Tell your classmates and your friends, all right? Um, yeah. If you want to help them out too, that'd be great. All right, we'd love to help them out too. Cool. Thank you. Bye.